It's a, the MVT process is a, is a way that we um, improve the things that we do through testing and letting the process tell us the way it behaves as opposed to the way that we think it behaves. For MVT, with our company, and we're a commodity chemical company, so we use it in our manufacturing operation and it improves the way we run, <clears throat> it improves the quality of our products, it improves the cost of our, um, it helps us make more stuff so we can sell more stuff and all of those bring uh, financial benefits for us. We have been using MVT since 2002 and it, it delivers approximately $2 million a year in savings for our company. Here, we did all this in less than six months. Average change over time reduced 44%. Uh, savings of up to $15 million in downtime. We freed up 33,000 line hours of production time across all three plants. That got us the extra capacity that we were looking for, and we didn't have to make that $2 million capital investment. Uh, we uh, were able to increase the uptime by 30%. Uh, production rates were up by 25%. Uh, maintenance uh, costs were down 47%. It had over $3 million worth of uh, attested savings uh, due to the quote pro processes we used. So what's the impact in my business? Overall, that's a 36% improvement in draw machine runtime. 33 million pound capacity increase by nothing, doing nothing more than increasing runtime by 68 minutes a shift. And I talked about an oversold market, and the only way we knew how to get the pounds that we needed to meet the demands of that market was to put in a new machine. We got 35.7 million pounds, do not need to spend that $15 million on that new machine. We went from an average run life of 72 hours based on our key measure to a currently about 139 hour average run life. We were able to reduce all losses to monomer head adhesions, which on an annualized basis, as you saw earlier, was an $8 million carat. As a bonus, we got this 15% rate increase, which has led to an annualized eight, additional $18 million to bring us up to a total of $26 million in, in uh, benefit. So we're trying to accomplish a lot with this whole division-wide MVT to go after throughput, uh, utilization or speed increases, and do this across eight plants. So there was a lot more interplant and intraplant uh, problem solving and teamwork going on, which has driven us. And as I mentioned before, we increased our output 10%, our setup times by 25%, and our rate and our waste continues to be at record lows. Well, over the past several years of, of using MVT whether it's in our sales, whether it's in plant specifics or division-wide, we've increased our earnings by 250%. We found ways to manipulate the process and the equipment to the tune of $10 million in increased, uh, in increased output. And we've done that with no significant capital expenditure. Again, no capital was spent, no additional costs, no additional people were added because of anything we did. Overall results? We had scrap reductions of up to 60%. We had increases in uptime of up to 15%, and we had uh, throughput increases of 12%. Bottom line, uh, 1.3 million. About 20% higher throughputs in staple, 10% in yarn. The additional revenue that we've gotten from the increased throughputs that we've gotten out of our plants and having that product available out in the marketplace, so we're seeing a uh, right now, currently about $20 million per year. We estimate that using the QualPro process, we've avoided about $20 million in capital investment over the three years. So our, our standard mode of operation for maintenance was wait and fix it till, wait till it breaks before you fix it because we need every pound we can get. What pops out when we go and look at costs but maintenance, and our maintenance is high, we need to focus on it. One out of, one out of every six pumps was failing. This amounts to three quarters of a million dollars a year that we're spending just on this one maintenance item. We said we're going to commit to a 25 percent reduction in pump failures. At the end. Where we end up, 61 percent reduction at the end of one year. When we first started looking at our waste treatment plant, 
we had total suspended solids, which were bumping up against the, the limitations, and we were figuring we were going to have to uh, expand the uh, waste treatment plant. So we were able to develop basically a cookbook approach to running the waste treatment plant. All of a sudden, we had no problem whatsoever, again, with a relatively short test. That avoided that $350 million. And we brought Quarpro in, zero capital dollars, zero cost dollars expended, $23 million in terms of additional capacity and increased sales in a sold out business. Uh, they could have required multi-million dollar scrubbing units be placed on the tower. The experiments we did allowed us to do it at zero cost. We avoided a multi-million dollar capital project and uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in fines. You see cumulative since 94, about 47 uh, million. Uh, I should add that uh, we took $8 million out of it because we shut down a plant. Uh, uh, but we shut down that plant because uh, our process development leader was using MVT in uh, uh, experiments he was doing on a pilot plant, which actually allowed us to install equipment at one plant, which uh, essentially negated the need for the other. So it was uh, really a nice, uh, nice result there. So our unit's about a it's about a $250 million unit would be the replacement value. That gives you a little bit of an idea of the size and the scale. One methodology that we use extensively in our toolbox is multivariable testing. Some of you may ask, you know, why do we choose QualPro to look at doing this? Well, for one, it's a team-based approach, and I can't emphasize that enough. We wanted something that allowed us to the technicians to get intimately involved in it, because these are the guys that really have the ideas. We wanted to be able to test multiple ideas together. We actually increased our unknown and all that we recovered from heavies cracking by about 90 percent, and that's a, it's a significant amount. And uh, we were able to decrease our heavies recycled through the plant by 75 percent. We produced close to two million pounds a day of product, so you have a lot of product coming out. We've we have increased our production by about 10 percent. We did this without any capital investment. Like we actually set a new uh, production record uh, last month. In addition to that, we reduced our heavies by two and a half million pounds. And not only is this heavies that were reduced, this is heavies that's been converted to products. So this was a three cent a pound product, you just converted to a 60 cent a pound product. So we're talking 20, 30 million dollar range on an annualized savings if you were to look at all of the multivariable tests that we've done over the years. So, and that's, that's a, you know, a yearly number. We avoided what would have been five or ten million dollars of capital investment. We've got a new site to supply the market. Last year we did an MVT that reduced our soda ash consumption by 13 percent. We talked about a project we did in our hydrochloric acid area where we increased our capacity by 30 percent using no capital at all. And we reduced our hydrogen consumption by 4 percent. So 464 percent improvement just in the number of foam tears that we're seeing. Uh, we didn't have to, to invest in any capital. We didn't have to go build a new machine. We didn't have to add anything to our current machine. It, this let us identify what the right knobs in, in conjunction together were to turn to, to turn up that bond bond strength coming off the machine. It says you're going to improve the process, you're going to make it better, you're going to move it faster, you're going to make it cheaper, you're going to solve quality problems, improve products, whatever it is, but you're not going to spend any capital, you're not going to spend any money to do it, and you're not going to increase the running costs. That's a pretty good deal. Call Pro, MBT, it works everywhere, it works on everything, everybody loves it, produces results.